Now, as you may have noticed, the world didn't end today. Quite what did happen when scientists switched on their machine on the Swiss-French border at breakfast time today may still defeat explanations despite a day of excitable science correspondents and scientists all over the airwaves. The Large Hadron Collider, apologies for calling it the Hadron Collider the other night, pure ignorance, is massive in every sense, not least in cost. Over three years, it'll cost £4.4 .4 billion. Pounds. Question, is it money well spent? It's a very pedestrian name for an instrument which some mercifully deluded people claim could create a black hole which would end the world. But the biggest machine ever built has caught the public imagination, even if most of us can't define precisely what it's doing. We can gawp at the price tag, though. These ambitious projects to tackle some of the biggest questions of our age, who we are, where we come from, where we're going, the space race, for example, which set our sights beyond Earth, the Human Genome Project, which promises a revolution in understanding and treating disease, cost, and they cost big. Scientists at the European Centre for Nuclear Research say the Large Hadron Collider experiment allows them to recreate conditions that existed when the universe was a fraction of a second old. But couldn't the $10 billion have been better spent on more down-to-earth pursuits like finding a cure for cancer or stopping climate change? Well, with us now, the government's former chief scientific advisor, Sir David King, and Professor Brian Cox, who's just off the plane from CERN. What was the point of spending the money on this as opposed to something useful? Well, I would obviously argue with the question. This, this, you, you have to put CERN in its context. This is part of, a, this is part of a, a, a journey that we've been on for about 100 years to understand what are the building blocks of matter and what are the forces that stick them together. This journey has given us, for example, the transistor, the silicon chip, it's given us, uh, you mentioned cures for cancer, it's given us uh, the ability to use particle beams to cure cancer to potentially kill brain tumors there's an endless list I mean I would argue in fact the modern world has been invented as a result of this quest and this is the next step in an ideal world of course there'd be enough money to research whatever you wanted but given we're not in an ideal world was this money well spent this money was spent on curiosity driven research which yes. may conceivably have some impacts on our well-being in the future I suspect it won't I think we've probably driven this type of research far enough that it's now more naval searching than uh, searching for potential future developments for the benefit of mankind. So uh, I'm fascinated, thrilled by the potential of finding the Higgs boson. I think it's wonderful science. But at the same time, I'm a little astonished to find we, s we know so much about fundamental particles. The Large Hadron Collider is going to demonstrate whether or not there's a Higgs boson. But I'm worried about whether we can convert enough energy from sunlight to solve our global warming problem, whether malaria, HIV, AIDS could be tackled. So, there's a big disparity. So you say decide upon investment on the basis of what the possible out or likely outcome will be? Search for a particular thing, like, for example, climate change solutions. Yes. I, I mean, that is what I'm saying because I think we're faced with the biggest challenge our civilization has ever had. That is, alternatives to carbon energy. Do you know, with, with respect, I think, it's, I think that argument just doesn't hold water because you could have made it at any point in the past. And at every stage of this journey to understand how the universe works, the, the, the spin-off technologies and the knowledge that we've gained have proved sure. to be immensely valuable. And you can never predict, no one is clever enough to predict where but, the next but who wonderful cares? discovery is um, going to come from. Yeah, how the uni universe was formed if the Earth ceases to have much intelligent life well, upon it. Absolutely. So you could look at the, the, the latest spin-off from CERN, which is the ability to cool the thing down. The, the thing runs, actually, as one of the coldest places in the universe. That technology is being used now at the ITER fusion reactor in France to, to cool that thing down. It came from CERN. The expertise came from CERN. Fusion is a power source of the future. You can never that tell. That is a possibility, isn't it? It is, but I think there's another argument. Um, Brilliant people like this young man sitting next to me also need to be attracted into these other uh, uh, challenges that we're faced with, where the outcome can be directly. I, I, I've productive. just explained that, that so this we is are. Too attractive, just, is it? 
Spending no, no. all this money no. makes it too expensive. No, no, you don't work on one thing. I, for, for me, myself, I work at uh, the Cockcroft Accelerator Institute up at the Daresbury oh. Lab. All the scientists that work at CERN are also working on particle beam therapies for cancer because it's part of the same endeavour, it's part of the same expertise. So you can't, you can't say to people like me, for example, 20 years ago when I went into physics, well, why don't you just do this because it's rather useful. In fact, learning how the universe works is useful, is inspiring. And on this day, actually, the day when, for once, physics is part of culture. It's in the headlines at every newspaper, every news broadcast in the world. I don't think the president of the British Association for the Advancement of Science should be pouring cold water on that on this day of all and days. Nor am I pouring cold water on it. I think this is an exciting experiment. I really am interested in the outcome, as interested as most other people. But I've got a real challenge here. At which point are we going to say, this particle physics uh, machine, this accelerator, is as big as we want to build. Or do we... It, no, it there's be. a very real it, it question It may be. Here. It depends what you discover uh, where, when and where we... you go next. Right. The, the po at this point now, uh, and we've what... reached a, a, a problem. We've got a door that's closed in our understanding of the All way right. the world works. This machine has been built to answer that question. We're going to have to leave it there, sir.